Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're jumping into how to edit your videos free online using this online video editor. Let's do it. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if any of that sounds interesting to you. Today we're jumping into a little showcase on an online video editor, which I've known about for a while now. Uh, you know, a big topic on my channel is showing free video editing softwares for people to use. This is not necessarily a software. It's actually just a website, but it is, you know, a, a, a online video editor, an online video editing software, and it is completely free. I've known about it for over a year. By all means, without further ado, we're gonna be jumping into it. Now, this is the website on the screen right now. It's called panzoid.com slash tools slash video editor. I'm gonna leave the full link down below. And just to make this a little bit of an easy walkthrough for you so you can 100% follow what I'm doing and basically pick up all the information I'm gonna give you in this video, I'm actually gonna provide a download link below to a pack called the Castle Clips Pack. And the Castle Clip Pack is just four clips of me and my friend Yarn basically walking up a castle and, uh, you know, breaking into a castle pretty much. All right. And we're going to edit these clips together using the online video editing website known as panzoid.com. We're going to edit our videos online for free using this website. So first off, this is the site. Go ahead and load it up. Click the link in the description down below and go ahead and press import and import is obviously going to load up our record drive. Now these clips are located over here in my other record drive, not in my footage, in my uh, do, 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 castle clip pack. And here they are. One, two, three, four clips, all of different angles of climbing up to this castle. One of a final drone shot going over the castle. Very, very cool. I live in the countryside down in England, so there is kind of just a castle available to me. <laughs> it's, it's abandoned most of the year, so me and my friends just went and climbed in there. So go ahead and open that. And uh, it's just going to import our clips down here. Super simple. Um, and the actual panzoid.com video editor is uh, sectioned into a few tabs. So we can go to our menu here and see the actual description of the tabs, but other, other than the menu, they are just the singular logos here on the side. So the tabs we have, just quickly to familiarize yourself with the layout, is the media, sequence, edit, objects, effects, export, about, and feedback. The about and feedback are more or less meaningless to you. The effects we could definitely mess around with a little bit. The uh, you know objects potentially and uh, overall all all that sort of stuff comes secondary to importing our clips, which we've just done, and then actually dragging them into the timeline down here. So first off, I want to go ahead and bring this one down here. Right there, I've actually imported my first clip to the timeline, and then we can actually go here and uh, you know just start clicking along. Now, what I want to do is actually go ahead and kind of chop it down a little bit, okay? And we can actually um, go ahead and hold control and scroll on our uh, kind of scrubby wheel to actually enhance the size of our trackpad down here to enhance the size of our timeline. Now, I want to actually go along and actually get to a point where I want to start this. Um, and actually, I think we might be decent to start it right off the bat, which will not be the same for these other clips. And just, just in case you're, uh, you know, a little bit confused on what I'm doing right now, I basically just want to do a rough cut. So I want to cut out the clip that I want in all of these four clips and just make a cool little about 20 second sequence. All right. So I think that should be good right there to actually trim things down. All we got to do is go to the end of the clip where it changes from a regular cursor to this and just go ahead and drag it in right here. Then we can go over here, go ahead and press play. And we are going to have a nice five second chop out of walking up the castle stairs. Then we can go ahead and import our second clip. And our second clip is my friend Yarn down here. He's really trying to, uh, he's trying to climb up the castle, but he's actually failing pretty badly. He, he gave it a go. He's going to give it a go right now and fail. <laughs> there you go. He gave it a go. And he basically just turned to me and he said, Jack, you do it because I'm not getting up there. <laughs> and then I step up and this is where we're going to chop the clip. So again, we're going to go here and find the trim and go ahead and just trim it down. Go ahead and drag this over here and press play and we're going to see the transition between me running up and jumping and I'm actually going to pull myself up onto the wall of the castle right here and we'll be able to go ahead and chop it right about there or go ahead and just trim it down and we're going to trim it right down there. Now if we want it to chop, uh, if I want to undo that, I could press control Z and that's just going to undo it. Now these are our tools over here, okay? So if we actually hover over them, we get a brief description. So we could go the cut selected clip at cursor, which would split it down the middle more or less. So if we press that, it is going to split it. Um, so that's another way of doing what we were doing before, which is trimming it right here. And it's also going to be uh, link section clips. Right here is going to be delete section clips. 
right here is going to be unlink selected clips, zoom in and zoom out. So the way we just did where we hold control and zoom in and zoom out, we could also do this by simply pressing these guys right over here on the left hand side, which is our tools area. But for the time being, I'm just going to stick to what I was doing and just go ahead and trim it that way. Then I'm going to bring my third clip in. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll over. I think uh, if I actually just give it a play, I think I was waiting for directions from Noah, who's actually piloting the drone, to say when he had his shot set up so that I could start walking in. And that's exactly where we're going to start it. So just for the sake of testing out, um, you know, the tools that I just showed you, we're going to go over here and go ahead and just press cut selected clip at cursor, which it also told us that there is a shortcut for that. So if we hover over, it says C in uh, kind of little abbreviations. So we could also press C on this clip right here. And um, when we've actually selected it, it should be able to cut it down. Now, for some reason, it's not actually uh, it's not actually answering to us. So we could just go here and just go ahead and press that and uh, that will answer to us. Then we can go ahead and chop that off. And we have hit about the 15 minute mark. We can go ahead and drag this fourth one in here. And uh, this fourth one's gonna be a real bad boy because this right here is going to be the actual drone shot of coming up. And you can actually see me right there on the castle with my hands up. Very, very cool. I'm actually going to keep scrolling along, maybe until this seagull, just after the seagull kind of goes past. You see, you got these two birds, pigeons or seagulls, whatever they are. And I'm just going to go to just as the drone starts coming up. Now, if you've been following through with me, we will have completed the sequence nearly. I'm just going to go ahead and again, if I undo that, just to walk you through it, I'm going to go over here to my cut selected clips at cursor. I'm going to cut my selected clips at cursor. I'm going to go here, delete it, and I'm just going to drag this back over. And I'm actually going to give this a play so that it just comes up, shows off the castle, and then, uh, you know, the, 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 this is a pretty a pretty long clip right here, in fact. So I, I might, even, might even find a way to actually speed this up later on. Now, once we've actually gone and created our basic sequence right here, which we just have, I'm just going to let this final clip play out because it's really, really nice. And I'm probably going to come to an end around the 30 second mark. Yep, just about there. And we can actually go ahead and select our clip, go ahead and cut it, and then we can bring it back down. And right there, we have achieved, um, even if we zoom out a little bit, we have achieved creating a sequence. And I can actually go here, press play, and right now it is going to play our sequence, which we've just chopped out the desired bits from the... Uh, you know, four original clips, which had a whole bunch of dead stuff on either side, which we were able to cut out. And, uh, you know, just like that, we have created this particular clip. And in fact, it looks like we had a, a mess up back there. We need to, to chop it right there when we start walking. And it looks like we chopped off the second half before. My bad, I, I, I didn't even notice that. Um, and then I can drag this back over. So it looks like we've done it right this time. Give it a play from the second clip onwards. And I'm, you know, I'm gonna pull myself up onto the castle wall. Then it's gonna chop to the second clip of me actually walking up onto the castle and actually entering, actually entering into the castle itself, looking around, jumping down, and then walking through as we do the pan up shot of the actual final drone shot, which is a real establishing shot. You can see the houses down there, the kind of houses and huts down there, all the houses over there in the field, little pigeon flying across. And of course we shot this at golden hour. So, you know, the sun is absolutely beautiful right there. And just like that, right, guys, we have created a basic sequence. I've showed you how to edit your videos online with this free online video editor. Now, if we were to select a clip, let's see what sort of effects that we have available to us. So, for example, this clip right here, if we go over here to our effects tab, we can actually press it and we're going to be able to plus ourselves an effect. So, we could actually plus a variety of different effects. We could color grade. We could chroma key if we had a green screen. We could color shift. We could bloom. We could, uh, you know, do a whole bunch of different sort of stuff. And it does have a bunch of cool stuff. There's even a glitch preset, some various different blur presets, and overall, um, we could get pretty creative with this right here. We could even do a mirror, a shake, and we do have a variety of effects. Now, I just want to go ahead and test out the mirror real quick. So if we go ahead and press the mirror, the mirror, all the mirror does is mirror it right down the middle. So that's actually a really cool effect. If we look at that right now, because of the nature of the circular style, it looks like there's just houses all around here, whereas before, um, there, there, there definitely weren't. There were, you know, a little hut over here. And what it's done is taken the left-hand side and mirrored it over here, which actually looks pretty phenomenal right now. The only kind of giveaway that this is a duplicate is the two of my friend Yarn right there and the fact that I now have uh, four hands almost right there. As you can see, 
Um, it sort of does look a little bit weird, but until you kind of get to focus in on the characters right there, that actually has improved this shot massively in my opinion. And, uh, you know, it's made it a much cooler sequence. So if we actually go over here to mirror and, uh, you know, actually turn the enabling off, that's what it was like before. And if we actually go ahead and turn it on, that's what it's like now. So that is an effective effect, <laughs> extremely effective effect. Um, uh, uh, the, the, the nicest way to use effects is in a subtle way where it really just complements the picture instead of actually, you know, um, you know, the, the viewer being super aware that there is a next level effect right there. But that right there is the mirror effect tested out firsthand. We've created a pretty cool sequence. Now, if we were to actually export, all we want to do is actually go ahead and um, highlight everything. Um, so if I go over here, I want to just go ahead and highlight everything right here. And this is going to be our sequence. We're then going to go down here to export. And what we want to do is either cloud render. So that's pretty cool. Device render or single frame capture. Now I want to do device render. Device render is, uh, you know, the actual settings that we're going to do. So what we want to do is set our settings. So we want to do a 30 frame rate, a 1920 by 1080, or in fact, I might do a, a 1280 by 720 just for the sake of the, uh, you know, nature of the tutorial. I want this to export relatively fast. I'm going to do it in very good quality. And in terms of the actual format, I'm going to put .m. KV. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press start. Now the rendering takes a little while. As you can see, it's saying five minutes or it was saying 35 minutes. So now it's only saying a couple minutes. That's actually pretty good. By all means, my computer is pretty good as well as my internet being really good down here in my office. So by all means, depending on the length of your sequence, this is only a 30 second sequence. It could take you guys potentially 30 minutes to a couple hours to actually render your projects. And again, it's all dependent on your internet and the speed of your computer. But um, by all means, the longer the project, the longer the render time will be. That's the only kind of iffy thing about this program here is the fact that, or this website here rather, is the fact that it actually does take a little while to render. This right here is relatively quick, but for longer projects, trust me, it, it can be a bit of a pain. So keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, that's maybe the price you have to pay for using an online video editor. And just like that, once it has finished processing, we're gonna go ahead and click download and it'll say, thank you for using Panzoid. Your download is starting now. And just like that, our download has downloaded. It is a video.mkv. Now you might be looking at it thinking, what's MKV? Don't worry, there's a way to get around this and uh, it is using a free, another free program called Handbrake. So go ahead and download that, link is in the description. All we gotta do is load up Handbrake and then drag our MKV file into Handbrake Go ahead and drag it in there and what Handbrake is, is a converter. It is a converter to convert things to MP4. And just like that, we can take it from MKV and turn it to MP4. And uh, we are actually going to select that it is fast 1080, 1080p, 30 FPS. Now add to queue is what you want to do if you're dealing with multiple files. Start in code is what you want to do if you're dealing with one. But we want to obviously set where this is saving to. So I'm going to actually go ahead and just assign this to my desktop just for the time being. And I'm actually just going to call it example clip drone castle. So just a couple keywords and we're going to go ahead and press start and code. And just like that, we can see the progress bar down here at the bottom working its way across to the point that we are going to have finished the encode and then we'll be able to watch our video back. And we have successfully created a video edit using an online editor, Panzoid video editor. And you know, it didn't cost us a penny and we didn't have to download any software or deal with any watermarks or any of that sort of nonsense. So right here, the encode passed one out of one, the queue has finished rendering. All we gotta do is minimize all this stuff right here, actually minimize all of my different stuff Go to example clip drone castle and we can now watch it being played right here. Now, the quality right now is the only noticeable thing that I'd say could do a little bit of improving, but at the end of the day, notice that we did use 720p and we did not use the highest export settings, which there were definitely higher export settings, but for the nature of a quick render, just for demonstrative purposes, I did not choose the highest render settings, but just like that, we have been able to edit a video completely for free with the very cool use of the mirror effect right here to uh, kind of make this look even cooler, this badass drone shot right here. I'm not sure what that what that was there. I was just a little bit of a glitch right there, but uh, you could even see the lens flare um, has, been, uh, has been duplicated, but that right there is the video, guys. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, if this is the first video of mine you've made through, good chance there are other videos on my channel you enjoy as well. So check those out. This has been How to Edit Your Videos free online using a very cool website known as Panswood Video Editor. If you follow through with me, we have created this sequence together. Congratulations. You're, a, you're an official editor now, an official online editor. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Jack. Have a nice day and goodbye.